honoured to be invited to speak here uh, on the occasion of the second International Day for the Total Elimination of Nuclear Weapons. I feel very humbled to be in a country that has done so much for peace and humanity and continues to do so. The leadership of King Abdullah and his father, King Hussein, in international diplomacy and peace is well known and respected around the world. And the way that the government and people of Jordan have opened their hearts and doors to the refugees from conflict and violence in this region is a shining example uh, to, to others, and hopefully others will follow suit, the wonderful example of Jordan. Indeed, these very real conflicts that are killing innocent people, destroying historical and cultural sites, and forcing so many people to flee make it difficult to focus on the issue of nuclear weapons which have not been used in wartime since 1945. But the film we've seen today, this excerpt from the longer feature film, The Man Who Saved the World, it reminds us that the threat from nuclear weapons is very real, that the risks of a nuclear catastrophe increases considerably during times of conflict such as there was during the Cold War and such as there is today. A tension between Russia and the West is again high. And if the Russia or the US believe that there is an incoming attack, whether that's from computer accident or some other miscalculation, 